Okay, today we're going to be building a diddly bow, and if you're wondering what a diddly bow is, it's a musical instrument made out of a board with two nails and a wire. And Lee's going to show us a little bit here on the one he's already built of what that sounds like pre-amplification. Lee? Basically, like she said, it's a wire, a piece of broom wire that I bought from One String Willie, the guy who's pretty much showed me everything that I know about this. Uh, you stretch it between your bridge here, which is just a two-inch PVC coupling, and a piece of wood, which is your nut. This can be moved around. You just kind of set it in place with a hammer, get it to the right pitch. Not really anything in particular, unless you're playing with something else. That's how it works. Your tape marks here are just kind of I put them vaguely where I get an octave here in the middle and the four and the five. Again, thereabouts, just kind of so you can get easy blues. using a drumstick and a glass slide that I got from Joker. That's the basics of it. We're going to get started on building another one, hopefully somewhat like it. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got the board cut, painted, two nails in there, and we're ready to start with the wire. But Lee wants to talk to you a little bit about the wire itself. This is broom wire. Named so because it's the stuff that holds the corn onto the stick of a corn broom. And when the diddly bow was made back in the early 20th century, that's where you got the wire. Uh, you took a broom apart and stretched it between two somethings and you hit it with a stick, kind of like I showed you earlier. I got this broom wire from Joker, who got it from One String Willie. When you go to One String Willie's shows, he sells 25 feet of this for four bucks. And I wish I had bought my own, so I could have it. But you can use other material, I'm not really sure what, but I wanted to get as close to you know authentic or One String Willie's instrument as I could, and it works really well. Props to him for having it and for distributing it to everybody else. And I've only done this once, so I can't really say precisely how to do it, but I try to just kind of straighten out the wire a little bit, make it a little bit easier to work with. Doesn't really seem to be a right or a wrong way to do it. But the critical part of it is on one end, want to have the wire attached and not going anywhere. Both ends obviously, but one end you're starting with. I'm go around the nail a few times. Yeah, I 
idea being that it is wrapped around the nail and isn't going to go anywhere when it gets pulled on. The wire is going to go under a lot of tension. The lower you can have it, usually the better. 